Good morning, guys. Um, just uh, an update with our solar solar system and uh, what I recommend about it and, uh, and the, any of the issues that I had with it. So, this MPP solar, brilliant. Like, we're getting in 1.5, 1.3 kilowatts right now coming in. So, that's pretty good. <sighs> More, way more than we need. Um, I've got 10 panels up there at the moment on it. But the issue that I had, and I had to figure it out, is that this system uh, requires 120 volts uh, before it can draw any watts into the system from the panels. So, I did not know that. So, on an overcast day, we weren't getting any power. And uh, it was frustrating. So, I had to, uh, and when I did um, parallel instead of series, it made it worse. So, I was like, what's going on here? Usually, it works really well with parallel and series, no matter what. But I used uh, on this system. These two here, I've got four panels on this one. No, two panels. Just two panels, and it's drawing 326, 333 watts. I got one panel on this. That's uh, drawing 86, 87. So when I calculated it, still when I calculate, these will draw more than this. For some reason, I'm not too sure why. I might have to hook up the whole ten as series, all as series. And see how they go but the only problem there is I've got four panels that are different I've got oh no sorry six panels I've got eight that are the same at 370 watts and then the rest of them I've got as uh, 265 watts and uh, a little bit different voltage as well. So, I'm not sure if I can run them all in series and it'll be fine. Or I run the one set of of the 265s. I think I've got six panels of those. As in series with, with another um, eight panels of the 370 watts in series coming into parallel into the system if you get what I mean so that's what I'm currently running now except for running only four panels of the 265 in the series and then eight panels of the two, 370 that's what I'm running now and it's I should be getting over like over two kilowatts easy and I'm not I'm getting 1.3, 1.36 kilowatts, 800 watts, and it's like 600. I don't know there's a bit of cloud cover coming over right now, but it fluctuates really. Um, what else? So let me guys know. 135 watts, right? Our volts. I should be getting way more than that way more than that voltage so I don't know it is still early in the morning nine o'clock half past nine um, I don't get power until it's around about eight ish into the system so the Sun doesn't hit the panels till then but these ones here just a little bit of even though it's overcast and whatnot they still draw power in and these are pretty good but um, I need a an inverter that can run a 48 volt system to be able to run these as a high with all the panels coming in and they run really well even though this is five years old that one there I just put that one in in last year or oh, six years old I think now and they've done really well done really really well but having the right system with them and it works really well so I've just got these uh, these two into the bottom one there, there's two batteries there, 300 watt, uh, 300 amp hours. 
and then I've got a 3000 watt power inverter there as a 12 volt system on the bottom so I've got that there and that just does my electric fence and the rooms with the with the what do you call it with our laptop TV and charging so that's what the 12 volt system on the bottom does all this does the rest of the house pump water pump kitchen um, that's pretty much it and then I got this as 12 volt um, lights hooked onto there and then I got the 12 volt water pump as well that the wifey just uses for the washing machine only um, and that's just just um, spreading the power over a whole lot of things so what I will do is hardwire it in like that from here uh, get another wire coming in for the rooms and the kitchen and that'll get rid of all the wiring all the these leads here extension leads get rid of all of that so all I have left is pretty much that with all the wiring going to I will leave this here because it's got I like the protection uh, chips out if anything goes wrong um, I'll just leave, leave that there but yeah uh, but at least we've got that fuse in for for the main thing. I've got uh, quite a few other fuses that I can put in if I need to but yeah it'll clean up all of that get rid of all the wiring but I actually like it like we had a good day of sun yesterday. We ran the air fryer. Um, we could probably use the kettle now, so that's fine. Uh, what's the, how many? So it's 51.6 volts. It's around about 75% or more charged in there. I'd like to keep it around about 75% charged. That's when the three bars are full, and then the last bar is flashing. That's what I mean it's charging, but it's already 75% and more. That's why I like to keep it. And if I can keep it that way, it prolongs the batteries. So that's good. Um, yeah. So happy in a way where it runs everything very comfortably. Very comfortably. And it's very easy system to to hook up. All you got your two main wires for your solar panels, two wires for negative and and positive for your batteries, and then your main wire going out to your output, and that goes up to there, goes out, and that's your output. So yeah, all I've got that wire is going into this this here then I can plug everything in to and that wire that wire there is our light system that goes up there so then I've got this coming off of that and that's protected there as well and as you can see it's grounded as well yeah but yeah, if you guys know the reason why my panels are not charging as good as they should be on this system, yeah, let me know. Because um, I'd like to get way more than that, like two, three kilowatts going in with all my panels. If I can get that going in, then I can run an aircon during the day. And... Uh, That'll be that'll be great. Um, at least it cools the house down during the day. I turn it off during the night, and the house is already cool after I put the ceiling and everything in. But yeah, that's another another project. And yeah, need to get that up asap. Alright, guys, I think that's it for now. That's long enough. Um, we gotta get um. Ready for church, and then uh, 
Oh yeah, and it's Tongan Tonga Father's Day over here at the moment at today. So happy Father's Day to everyone in Tonga. Uh, yeah, I don't know why Tongans or have it straight out the Sunday straight after Mother's Day over here. But yeah. All right, guys. Peace. Bye for now. God bless.